Hi, this is Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute and the Cardiovascular Innovations Foundation, presenting the reverse CRAS technique for bifurcation stenting. When should reverse CRAS, which is also called internal CRAS, be performed? Reverse CRAS is actually part of the provisional strategy. This is for cases in which the side branch needs to be preserved, that's a large side branch, and the likelihood of occlusion is low, so the plan is to perform stenting of the main vessel, jailing a wire into the side branch. Most of the time, the side branch will be fine and there is no need for further steps. However, in some cases, the side branch will be compromised. The first step in such cases is um, to rewire the side branch and perform balloon angioplasty. If this is successful, then there is no need for further treatment. However, if that fails, then a stent needs to be placed into the side branch. And the choice of stenting technique for placing the second stent depends on the angulation of the side branch. If it is about 90 degrees, then T-stent or T and protrusion is used, very similar to the general algorithm, whereas if it is less than 70, then one can use either the reverse crash technique or the culotte technique, which is described in a separate video. And this is an example of the scenario when the technique the reverse crust needs to be needed. This is a case in which uh, there's wiring of both branches and the, and the stand is placed across the origin of the side branch. The stand is then deployed, jailing the wire and potentially compromising the side branch. And if after stand placement the side branch is compromised, like in this particular case, which is uh, already on YouTube, then the first step is to balloon it, but if it fails, then something needs to be done. And in this case, given that the angle is less than 70 degrees, the reverse crash is a good technique. We will do a step-by-step -step description of the reverse crash based on videos that were recorded at the Abbott Vascular PCI Master Side Branch Access Workshop. And these are the 10 steps for performing the reverse crash technique. The first step is to rewire the side branch, and this is where the jailed wire can be very useful for guiding rewiring with another guide wire. The guide wire eventually finds its way and goes into the side branch, and then the jailed wire is removed. Then a balloon is advanced across the side branch over the newly inserted guide wire, and the balloon is then inflated to increase the opening into the side branch. Then we deliver a balloon into the main vessel. The role of this balloon is to crush the stand that will be placed subsequently into the side branch. The fourth step is to place the stand into the side branch, partially into the side branch and partially into the main vessel, usually two to three millimeters, but it is okay to have a little longer. You don't want to try to have very short one, two millimeters because if you miss the ostium, then you may need to place another stand and this is a problem. The reason for advancing the main vessel balloon first is because once this stand is deployed, there is a possibility of impinging into the main vessel, making very difficult or impossible delivery of another balloon. The next step is to deploy the stand into the side branch, which essentially means the stand protruding back all the way into the main vessel, and then the stand balloon is removed. The next step is to pull back the balloon we had placed already into the main vessel that goes over the segment of the side branch stand that um, is protruding into the main vessel stand, and then this balloon is inflating, inflated, essentially crushing the portion of the side branch stand that is protruding back into the main vessel. After this is done, we now have another jailed wire. The side branch wire is jailed one more time. So we use another wire to wire through uh, the side branch and then we remove the jailed wire after the wiring has been accomplished. Step number nine is to advance a balloon into both branches. Uh, 
and then inflate the balloons together in a kissing balloon inflation mode. Step number 10 is to get a shorter balloon and perform the proximal optimization technique in the proximal portion of the stand. And this is the final result. This is the area of the side brand stand that has been protruding and has been crushed against the wall of the main vessel and against the originally placed main vessel stand. Here you can see the stand, it's more on the top of the vessel in this view, whereas on the bottom there is no crushed stand, so it so happened that the crushed stand struts were on this portion of the vessel. The difference and disadvantage of this technique compared with uh, the regular DK crust technique is actually that the crust stand is inside the main vessel stand, whereas in the DK crust technique, the crust part of the side brand stand is on the outside of the main vessel stand. So these are the 10 steps for performing the reverse crust that can be a bailout technique when provisional standing results in significant side branch compromise. Thank you.